I was once asked by a child, I love my dog very much. When I die, and when my dog dies, can I see my dog in heaven? You will be surprised at the answer. Yes. You can meet your dog again in heaven. Our misunderstanding is when Christ came and took human flesh and died on the cross and rose again from the dead, Christ came to save humanity. That is true. That is correct. But Christ did not only come to save humanity, to bring order to humanity, to heal human beings. God came to change the entire cosmos and everything that is on it. Animals, plants, mountains, hills, and seas. God came to restore all things to Himself. And uh, where do we get this belief? It comes from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. And I will read it to you just to remind you of it because we might have taken the lesson for granted. I consider that our present sufferings are not worth comparing with the glory that will be revealed in us. For creation waits in eager expectation for the children of God to be revealed. For the creation was subjected to frustration, not by its own choice, but by the will of the one who subjected it, in hope that creation itself will be liberated from its bondage to decay and brought into freedom and glory. Note the words of St. Paul. He did not use humanity. He said, all creation. So we believe that by the incarnation, by the passion, death, and resurrection, human beings will be saved. Human, human beings will enter a new creation. But not only that, our destroyed rivers and seas, our denuded mountains, our dirty rivers, our animals, our plants, our trees, all creations of God will be restored to their original beauty so that we will have a new heaven and a new earth. Christmas is about God becoming a human being. But when God became a human being, He wanted the whole of creation to be touched by the power of God's love. So, will I see my dog in heaven? Not only your dog, but all animals will be restored to their original beauty, no longer abused by human beings, no longer killed by human beings. Not only dogs and animals, the mountains and the hills, the seas and the rivers, the planets, the air, will be restored to the original plan of God in its perfection, in its fullness. We will see one another in heaven because God loves us and the groaning of the entire creation will cease because the power of God will be all over the entire cosmos.